Hello, my Star Atlas brethren. It is I, the Metaverse Explorer. We have a small video for you today. We're going to be looking at the marketplace pictures that we just got. Um, so they, it looks pretty cool, to be honest. I know a few people have experienced this when they gave out the, um, the uh, open preview for people to come and experience it. I unfortunately didn't get in. So this is the first time I'm getting to see the actual marketplace, right? After that, we're going to have a look at some uh, pictures, that, some new pictures that have come, the PSX4, as well as a uh, kind of like a 3D rendering of the uh, Calico Guardian. So let's get started, shall we? Thank you very much for watching. As always, love you, man. Um, and congrats to the last guy who won the uh, Fimble Airbike. So uh, well done there. We got some some good jokes in uh, and it was uh, just a small uh, joking contest and you got yourself a Fimble Airbike. So well done, man. I just, I think I'm waiting for your address to send it straight to you anyway. So let's have a look at the marketplace, what it looks like, right? So these are going to be split into two. They're going to be the mobile view and then the web view, right? Now this actually looks like the, um, the uh, uh, I think this looks like the web view. We've got on the left hand side, you've got some featured items, some ships, structures, resources, collectibles and access. Now, within ships, you can see that it's split up within the extra small all the way up to Titan class, right? And you've got all the extra structures and within these ships, you've got all the next ones, right? So if you click on small, you'll be directed to all the small ships, which are Tufa Feist, Rainbow Ohm, Rainbow Chi, uh, Ogrika Mick, Fimble Earp and the X6 and the Armway, right? These are, I think this is really nice because it actually filters it by the epic ones at the top and then goes down in rarity all the way down. So example, you could click on extra, extra small and you'll have like the uh, the highest rarity there. And that's going to bring a lot more attention to it uh, when uh, separately, when it's, when it's just flat, you know, you have to look out what is rare and what is uncommon. Whereas this, it's already filtered to the top. So it makes it much, much easier. Um, so it, yeah, interesting. Like we know the structures already. Structures aren't going to come for a very, very long time. You can trade them, but not on the Star Atlas marketplace separately. I recommend anyone not to buy structures at the moment. Resources, we know you're going to be crafting them within the um, the new Scream gameplay. Collectibles, such as your badges and everything else, like the satellite and stuff. And then access, which is your badges. Now, oh, just a little bit of alpha, by the way. Uh, uh, Michael Swagner did actually confirm that the uh, badges you'll be getting for your uh, staking your ships into um, uh, the current uh, staking system we have now, whatever you want to call it, right? Those are going to give you loyalty points, okay? It's not very significant, but it will be something. It'll be something to get you started. So you're actually going to be getting a commemorative NFT, like if it's a veteran fleet or like a, uh, I don't know what the other badge types are, you know, if it's a veteran fleet, you'll be getting a veteran commemorative NFT that does nothing at all, just commemorative. And then you'll also be getting uh, loyalty points, probably for how many uh, fleet, uh, how many ships in that fleet for that badge, hopefully. So like there's a small multiplier. But we just found out about that. Just thought I'd let you know. Uh, let's have a look at the rest of the uh, marketplace on the uh, mobile experience, right? So on the left here, you can see uh, it's got, gonna have marketplace and my orders. You can see what's featured at the moment and then what ships are at the bottom. That's me, just there. Now, um, same thing as well. Uh, it'll look the same on the right hand side. Um, this is the, uh, I think this actually might be, oh, look at that. There's a c capital and commander. I didn't see that. Oh no, this right here. Okay, never mind, never mind. Um, so yeah, you'll be able to click on it. And when you click on it to buy and sell, um, they're at, so I don't know if you know, but they're getting rid of Serum, not getting rid of Serum. They're just moving away from Serum, right? So Serum is the underlying protocol for uh, kind of liquidity and trades in Solana, right? Um, it was one of the first ones. There's others at the moment, but it was one of the first. It was one of the easiest for people to come and go. But now on this actual marketplace, it's peer to peer. So I physically will be putting my ship on the market and then you will come to the market going to buy my ship and you'll be able to tell it's my ship because it's coming from my address. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in here so you can see. The quality is not that great, but you'll be able to see. So like uh, HPI, you know, uh, HPI, this is the same person buying and selling, creating this uh, buy and sell orders. So he's put 30 of the Fimble BIOS EUPS at each uh, different level, okay, uh, at each different level. And so you'll be able to buy and sell from a specific person, okay? This is from the person himself. This is from the Star Atlas team themselves, you know, the, the, the ships that are already on market. Okay, um, so 
and I imagine really like you can have like the guild AEP just the name just there and you'll be able to know that this is you're buying a ship from AEP or you're buying a ship from Rome or you're buying a ship from Metaverse Explorer or from any of the other like Coexist or Dark Matter or the club any other one right um that's awesome I really need that username to come because that'll make it so much better like we'll have some uh, better community when we can know who's selling all their ships on market um, and then on the right hand side, this is what it looks like when you're going to buy, right? Uh, you click on the Fimble Bios, you know, the, this is the seller. You want to buy two of them. This is the price and the total cost. Now, remember, there's going to be some kind of fees, right? So Serum already had fees built in. Um, this one, we don't know what the fees are going to be. And the fees are likely going to be reduced if you are staking Atlas. Okay, we know that already. There is an Atlas staking coming. You can see this by looking at the price here, 320,000. And then you can look at the total cost here, 333,000. So there's an extra 13,000 uh, uh, Atlas on top of this, um, on top of this uh, kind of uh, transaction. Yeah. So that's the mobile experience. Let's have a look at the web experience. Now, I generally like the web experience more. You just get a full view, right? Um, this is what the website looks like at the moment. You'll have the marketplace here, the leaderboard and, you know, factions and everything else up here. Um, you'll be able to search. This is the search function that we're talking about before you search and then you can click on the ships. You know, you want to you're in a market for a small ship. You click on small ship and then you go uh, too far. The Fimble Bios EOP, the X6, and then you go to that market on the right hand side, which is here. And you'll be able to see who's selling this at this price. And I want to buy this at this price. And uh, this is the spread between them. So if you want, you can list above me who's over here and then i'm going to list above you because i you know want to buy it before you <laughs> that's how the game is played right um unfortunately um i don't know how the bots are going to work maybe we can label if we can somehow label the bots because i don't know if you know if you're trying to buy a ship right now like the bots always try and outbid you you put 1000 atlas the bot is going to come and put 1005 atlas and it's so super annoying you'll have to cancel your order put up your bid a little bit more and go up all the way to a way where the bot isn't programmed to put a bid above you. Okay. It's super annoying. Hopefully they can, um, um, they can, uh, um, put a name to the bot. So we know this bloody bot, I get rid of it. We don't want it. We want normal people making these transactions, right? This is a game. It's not supposed to be botted. I hate that. I, ugh, I really, really hate it. Let's keep going. So these, this is some information from the team about the marketplace itself. So this is highlights from the um, user design, your user interface side. They improves the usability and discoverability. So it's probably talking about the search function up here, right? Um, improve the mobile experience. Thank you very much. Simplify the purchase and sale experience. Thank you very much. Data insights uh, for making better marketplace decisions. Not sure what data insights they have. It'd be nice if they could share. Remove the need to settle orders after purchase. This is, of course, coming from the Serum marketplace, right? No longer are we using Serum, so there's not, no longer going to be any settling. I don't know if you know, uh, Serum was like, when you buy something from the Serum marketplace, it's like it's sending it to your post office. You have to now go and collect it from the post office. That's, that's just a simple analogy, but uh, that's not going to be going anymore. This is like Amazon now. You buy it from me, I send it right to your address. Awesome, right? Created an authentic player-to-player -player MMO style order experience that will support the needs of our use ever-ending universe of game items, ships, and NFTs. Yeah, we didn't need to say that, but thank you. <laughs> Uh, added the ability to bookmark items. Now, I didn't actually see the bookmark feature here. Oh, there, it's at the top. So this is, you're gonna be browsing. These are your orders that are currently going, and this is the book, bookmark section. Added, uh, added advanced filtering, sorting, and searching. Nice, thank you very much. Uh, you know, I, I'm sure there will be a small marketplace team that will still be rolling out small uh, uh, additions to the marketplace. They're not gonna stop at it, stop there. Now, let's continue from the highlights from the engineering and blockchain side. We have rollout of the first version of our Star Atlas game service. Wow. Thank you very much. Providing real-time blockchain data to users. Thank you very much. Where is that? I don't see it. Sorry. Um, fully decentralized. The blockchain data reads... Uh, reads are piped through a centralized source, improving the overall performance and responsiveness of the application. The marketplace program is built as an open access tool for anyone in the Solana ecosystem to utilize. Uh, that's nice. So the, the marketplace program is built as, as an open access tool for anyone. Um, cool. Hopefully someone else could be like, does that mean we'll be able to create our own items now and list it into the marketplace? 
does it? I, I don't know. Like it's it's a it's an open access tool for anyone in Solana ecosystem to utilize. Like, is that what it means? Fundamentally different from Serum. We know this. Uh, users are, buy, are buying orders directly from players instead of placing bid orders into an open marketplace. Yep, this is exactly what we needed, right? This is what you needed in an MMO peer-to-peer -peer system, right? Um, sure, there'll be some taxes on top because the DAO might need something or um, might be the treasury for the marketplace or something, you know, that sort of stuff. No settling orders, simplified experience and tailored to feel like an MMO marketplace. Awesome. Awesome. Very, very good. I'm super happy with how it looks at the moment. I want you to give me what you think uh, it's going to it's going to feel like for you. Have you played any other MMOs? Um, does this does this work for you? Is this okay? It's not okay, is it? You tell me, right? Um, for me, it's a good start. I'm I'm uh, I used to play Guild Wars 2, which had one of the best marketplaces experiences I've ever seen, to be honest, in an MMO. I never played WoW, so I don't know what that's like, but the Guild Wars 2 marketplace was really good. It was its own entity, Black Lion uh, Marketplace. Um, and like the it was a full kitted out like uh, search function and um, listings and like buy lowest, lowest, all of this functions. That was really, really great. Okay, let's move on, guys. Let's look at the uh, PSX4. We got some new pictures here. This is um, them doing the 3D modeling of the actual ship, okay? And how it's going to look like in all the different modes that we have. Because we know the PSX4 is very, uh, sorry, the PSX5 is very, very uh, unique because it has lots of different functionalities it can go into. So let's go into the first one here, which is the ground patrol mode. So when you're on the ground, I guess on a planet, you're patrolling around. This is what the picture, so on the top is what the pictures, the concept art looked like. This is the bottom of it, actually 3D, 3D modeling it. So the ground patrol mode, that's what it looks like when it's uh, modeled in a 3D environment and hopefully in the showroom, right? This is the attack mode where you can have all four guns uh, pointing forward and that's what it looks like in the uh, 3D modeling. This is the uh, space mode, which should be for like uh, speed and like racing mode. Um, that's what it looks like. And then we have the uh, sh defense shield mode. Now, I totally forgot about this defense shield mode. Look at it. It looks pretty good. Hopefully it, sh it should. It looks like it's like creating a defense uh, around it. And maybe there'll be a force field that spurs on above above it here. It's like a like a tarantula or something. I love it. And then the compact mode, I guess, if you're just doing whatever and you're just like in the safe zone and you don't need any uh, particular mode on. So this is very interesting to see. We know in the showroom already, we saw uh, the video where the Ogrika Thripid was in there, the PSX4, the Calico, uh, uh, Calico MedTech was in there. So I I'm, I'm sure that they're actually making lots of progress in the, all the 3D modeling and, and bringing all of them into the showroom. We won't see them first. The only two we'll be able to play first in the showroom is a PS, uh, PS uh, uh, X4, the bike one. And then I think uh, is the uh, the Amway, um, the Visus Amway. Yeah, that's the only two uh, Visus Opod that we'll be able to play in the first two in the two in the first two showrooms. Uh, let's go ahead and look at this picture, which is a giant resolution picture that we saw on Star Atlas uh, website on the Star Atlas Twitter. And I just wanted to share it because I thought it looked really, really nice, right? So on the uh, top middle section, we have a ship that has zoomed in somewhere. Let's go all the way in. So you can see it's very, very high res. So we have a ship that zoomed in all the way and is now surveying a kind of rock to see if it should um, if it should uh, mine it or not. Right. That's what it looks like. I want to zoom in on this ship so you can see it looks like a ship that I haven't seen the um, seen the outline of it of. So it looks very rectangular, right? It may, might be the rainbow ohm or kind of the rainbow arc. Um, it doesn't look like a pack light. It doesn't have any of the weird uh, angles and weird like uh, triangles of all the other ships, right? The silhouette looks very boxy and I haven't seen a ship like this. This might be one of the mining ships. Of course, it's surveying a, uh, a, a, a asteroid to see if it should mine. I tried to look in the bottom of this to see if I could notice anything else. And there might be something here. This totally looks like some kind of structure, right? So this is a this is a uh, a, a kind of a beam, like a, a pulse beam coming out of a ship, which I think is here. OK, which I think is here. It might be some kind of Tufa ship that's in hiding and is about to get this ship at the bottom here. Um, and uh, don't know where this light is from. It might be from the cataclysm itself. Um, but we know the Tufa hide very close to the cataclysm, right? 
Um, this might be a two for ship. It might not be a ship at all. I might be making all of this up. And at the bottom here, there might be something lurking. If you found an Easter egg in here, let me know. I mean, I can't see anything else. I had a good look at it, but I couldn't notice anything else at all. Okay. Next up, let's look at the uh, uh, Calico Guardian uh, 3D uh, ship um, optimized for the web. This is from their Twitter. It's uh, They released it not long ago. Um, and is there any sound? No. So this is the uh, Calico Guardian, which is a capital class ship. Uh, it was about 30,000 when it first started. 30, maybe 20, I forget. Um, so they're starting to do all the 3D modeling, right? And this is what it looks like, right? It looks pretty good. Uh, so there's, uh, I think, two pilots at the front here, and then there's a whole bunch of other stuff within the ship here. Uh, so this is them just going around, showing you what the modeling uh, process is like, what it looks like from their point of view, um, and then some little animations on the side of the doors coming out. And there shouldn't really be doors. I'm not sure what it is. Can you see inside? I can't see inside. Uh, maybe. I'm not entirely sure. Not sure. Not sure. So yeah, it looks good, right? It looks good. I, I don't know if this is going to be in the full uh, showroom game or this is going to be the calico. Uh, this is going to be in the screen because you know in the screen you don't need such fine detail, right? You only need like the outline of the ship or you know the color and the little edges of the ship. You don't need this detail. So I think this is the showroom. So we're seeing lots of showroom assets being developed, right? Um, Okay, that's all I had to show you for now, uh, my Star Atlas people. Uh, thank you very much for watching, as always. I uh, enjoy it. Uh, I enjoy doing this video, so thank you very much for watching. I'm going to leave you here. I'm going to leave you and love you. Thank you very much. Ciao. Peace.